Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Bruce Jones here at Benicia High School in Benicia, California. Alongside me, I'm joined by Javier Martinez, the head coach of the varsity soccer team here. And my first question, coach, is you guys, uh, this is your second meeting with this team? Yes. Uh, we play every team three times. Uh, this is the second uh, home. This is going to be our first home game against them. And... Uh, we hope to uh, win win tonight. Well, don't we all? Yes. Um, how was how did the uh, first meeting uh, turn out for you? Um, the first time uh, we played them, uh, they gave us a good battle, a very tight game in the first half. Um, then we came out uh, in the second half and uh, and scored a quick early goal, and uh, then we uh, we took control of the of the uh, of the game and uh, added two more goals, so we ended up beating this team three nothing. Oh, it sounds like you had a really good game then. So it sounds like the team who makes the least amount of mistakes uh, is most likely going to come out on top here. Yes, it's always like that in soccer. If you make a mistake, it's uh, it's it, it usually costs you a, a goal. Um, so the, the least mistakes that you make, uh, uh, the better you're you're at you're in your game. You know? And so this squad, my understanding this year overall is nine two and two. Is that accurate? That's, that is correct. Uh, our only losses uh, this year have been to Vanden. They've been very tough games. Uh, we have a game against them on Wednesday, but we're not looking ahead. We're going to play play this game tonight and uh, try to come out with the, with the win and then uh, prepare for them uh, tomorrow. That sounds fantastic. Uh, in fact, I might even make it a point to come and see that game if I'm not working. <laughs> okay. <Sounds good. laughs> but uh, my other question to you is, is uh, it's a two-part question, and the first part is, how do you compare this team, say, to the beginning of the season? Well, uh, at the beginning of the season, everybody's new, and uh, when you play high school high school soccer, there, there's a lot of uh, individual talents that you have to bring together, and so that uh, you have to do it very quickly because the season's only a couple of months long. So, what I tried to do is I tried to uh, blend these uh, these players and uh, have them. Uh, get to know each other very quickly and uh, and as far as, as the season goes uh, we've only gotten better uh, you know every once in a while you get a flat you get a flat uh, where you uh, you don't have your best game and you have to fight through that and that, that I tell my players all, all the time that that's the mental part of the game that we that we have to overcome because it's at that point in the season you be, you've been practicing and playing almost every day and so the mental mental fatigue comes in, you know, and sometimes you have a, a flat game like we did last Wednesday against Fairfield. Uh, but, uh, you know, th those are the things that you have to overcome if you want to play at the next level. This is absolutely so true. <laughs> the second part of that question, since you were mentioning the mental fatigue aspect, um, how important to you is physical conditioning uh, early on before school even starts? Oh, it's important for these players to go out and uh, try to get in, in in the best condition that they they can possibly get into. Because, again, I'm going to be re repetitive here. is uh, It's a short season, and they need to be in the in the best physical shape that they can be in, because the uh, the wear and tear on the on the body for that amount of time is uh, is very uh, it's tremendous. It's tremendous in terms of you know how how the body recuperates after. Um, you, you have a game or after you have practice. So, you know, what I instill in my players is that we become, uh, when they come into the season, that they, they try to get in the best shape because we, we go right away. Yeah. You know, we go into games and, and so they need to be at, um, at a level where we're not quite uh, uh, at club level, you know, premier club levels, and we're not quite at, at a house level you know we're somewhere in between you know the speed of the game sure. it's it's not as quick as the, the you would get at club level but you would uh but you still need to be in in, in in good shape and so you keep a close eye obviously on the jv knowing what kind of talent you're going to have coming up next year yeah there's a couple players that i've been uh, keeping my eye on on there but uh you know i usually don't bring up a jv player until like uh, the, the latter part of the season because uh you know you want them to play you don't want them to at the varsity level there they probably won't get to see much playing time and so uh with that being the case uh you kind of wait till the end of the season uh, you know there's two or three games and then you bring them up and see if they can compete at the the next level which is the varsity level right 
So. And so my question now to you is how long have you coached here at Benicia High School? Well, I've been here since 1999 as an assistant, and uh, six years ago I got promoted to uh, the varsity job, and so I've been here uh, since since then, and I uh, enjoy every minute of it. You know, soccer is my passion, so uh, it goes way back to when I was a, I was a kid and playing, and so to continue to do something that I love to do and to teach teach the kids what they uh, they, what this game's all about. You know, this is a this is a worldwide sport, so a lot of people play this game, and so you have to have a, a lot of passion to to do it, and and that's that's one of my passions is uh, you know the love of the sport. That's fantastic, Javier. Um, in touching on on the athletics department here at Benicia High School, they've been around for some time, and. Uh, from what I've seen, they always seem to be that one click or that one step above. Uh, maybe it's because they've been around for so long, or what would you attribute that to? Well, you know, Benicia is a community where there's 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 soccer. There's they play soccer all the time, and um, you know, and they come up the through the through the the house programs, and they all the kids here, even on the on the female side, the girls side, they they all want to play on the high school team sure. because of the reputation and the, uh, the the success of the program, and uh, for for whatever reason, the individual player just wants to wants to be on part of the team, wants to wear the the, the blue and the and the gold of Benicia and uh, and and taste some of the success that it, the program has had over the years we you know we may not reach the uh the mountain but we we sure as heck try to get there every year a lot of prestige and pride here at benicia high school i take it yes sir uh, you know we've been uh and that's the sex of the program just goes on from the jv team to the varsity team and, and uh you know and the, the reputation that the program has had is uh it's big you know it's and that's and that's why uh, i'm uh, involved in it and i you know i'm i'm proud to be associated with it and uh, and the success uh, hopefully continues when I leave. <laughs> well, there you go. Listen, Javier, thank you so much for your time. Well, I look you. forward to seeing you guys tonight, and uh, I'll let you get to your team, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Back to you, Tim. Okay, Bruce Jones again here, alongside Gabriel Zapata. He is uh, the acting varsity coach tonight. Is that accurate? Correct. With the American Canyon Wolves. Um, I understand that that uh, you and Travis, you you share this responsibility between the men and the women's soccer teams. Is that is that accurate? That is correct. Uh, he's a varsity coach for men. I'm the varsity coach for women. So we alternate. That's that's fantastic. Do you do you do it the same each year? Yeah, each year. So we this is our fourth year doing it. That's just fantastic. And and so now you're. Uh, uh, students or your children have have grown and graduated now. Is is that right? Uh, correct. My oldest graduated last year. It was a, was a pleasure to coach both my girls during the same year. And I have my my second one, which is a junior. I have two more years to coaching coaching her. Yeah. Well, I'm acting like I don't know them, but I know your children quite well. <laughs> yeah, you know and them. and I've actually coached them myself. Um, of course, not at this level. Yeah. Um, again, this is your second meeting with this team. Um, uh, where do you see this team, your team, uh, as compared to the last time you guys met? Well, unfortunately, we had two injuries. A goalkeeper got injured. Hopefully, nothing serious with the ribs. Another got hit on the right at the hip. Uh, we could have taken this game, but that's the way it is. You lose one, you win some, and we ended up in the losing and end the game. Yeah, well, you know what? Uh, I definitely look forward to uh, seeing your team tonight, Gabriel. Thank you so much for your time, and tell Travis and give him my best. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Tim. Andrea. They're in the, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, come up here Wednesday. They compete against, um, I forget what's in the schedule, but uh, check VallejoSports.net. And uh, as a matter of fact, so we'll cover Benicia High School, the Panthers, again on Wednesday. Not for sure. As a matter of fact, they play here we may go to Vanden on Wednesday 
in Fairfield, California to broadcast that game from Vanden High School. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Bruce Jones here with VCAT Television and Vallejo Sports TV here at Benicia High School where the American Canyon Wolves are taking on the Benicia Panthers. This is their second meeting. And the first meeting was pretty close, but Benicia came out on top 3-0. And uh, I was interviewing the coaches before the game as we get underway, <clears throat> American Canyon starts the game with the kickoff. You know, and Tim, the last couple of games that I've done, here's a chance for Benicia, shot on goal. That shot was taken by Javier Di Miguel, number 14 of the Panthers, over the goal line, which would have resulted in a corner kick. This throw and headed over the goal. That was Sean Aguigi. That's American Canyon's leading scorer. I don't have the stats with me right here, so I couldn't tell you how many goals he's got. Here's a chance at the touchline for the Panthers. Some great ball handling. And shot on goal just a bit wide. That was some great ball handling there by Javier Di Miguel. Maybe that's something uh, we can find out during uh, halftime. Yeah, or here's another shot on goal, and that one enters the goal. That right. shot taken, and I believe it was scored before it was touched again by the attacking team by number 14, Javier Di Miguel. Well, number eight is the one that eventually... But I think it had already crossed the goal oh. line. Oh, okay, yeah. I think it had. Okay, yeah, and that's somewhat what it looked like to me as well. Yeah. It's just uh, number eight came in, and I guess just to make sure, he had a little bit of insurance He definitely insurance finished there. it off, yeah. Yeah. So if it hadn't crossed the goal line, okay. then, then <laughs> Javier would have gotten the assist. All right, there you go. Something else we can check on at halftime, huh? Yeah. How about that? And almost made the shot. <laughs> that too was Eric Arreyes. He did the exact same thing and almost put it in the back of the net. That was a great shot. That shot taken <laughs> and almost made by Alex Fluitt. Yeah. And uh, she's from right there in Davis. Chance for Benicia, just a little high. That shot was taken by uh, Javier De Miguel. Shauna Guigi just missed by a little bit. There's another pass, touch pass. Crossed and headed in by Shauna Guigi. I'll tell you what, that was some of the best ball handling I have seen all year. Wow. That was incredible. That touch pass and uh, and the, the header by Shauna Guigi, centered by, uh, or the cross pass was made, excuse me. Got a little tongue tied there by Edwin Padilla. You know, everybody thinks that you have to score points to get excited about a sport. But I'll tell you what, the way these two teams are battling right here, and it's only 1-1. One, 1-1, one. One, one. wow. That cross pass by 
that cross pass by John Tyler Coke just a bit long. That was a great pass, though. Yeah, it takes a while to get used to. When I first started learning it, I thought, I, I will never understand this. <laughs> but there are many different scenarios, and that ball scores. Wow, so what happened there? It looked like off it, it was thrown in yeah that that can't enter directly into the goal right it just looked like you know no on a throw in was that a corner kick or a throw in it looked like it was a throw in because it's a throw in down here throw in. by the wolves <clears throat> and that goal is scored <laughs> by hector zervine valdez <clears throat> that one counts. Yeah. Well, the other one did too, yeah. but I didn't see where the other one got touched. I think it was touched by Benicia. I, I, that's what I saw because it wasn't any. Uh... So if you got somebody who can kick the ball the full length of the field. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're doing good. And Benicia is not letting up. They. Hey, oh. There's another goal by Sean Aguigi, unassisted. He was the only player on that end of the field, on this side of the 50, for American Canyon. Well, you know, there's uh, again, uh, Aguigi's proven himself the top three here in the uh, in the area. Uh, he might be above that now. Oh yeah, it looks like he's <laughs> put himself in yeah. number one. Because he's number what? One how spot. many has he got? Two or three tonight? Uh, it looks like two. two. Yeah. But that's all right, because I remember I had the score all wrong when they didn't have a scoreboard. So this is helping me keep it in perspective. Right, yeah. And American Canyon has definitely, definitely gone. That didn't go off his foot where he yeah, wanted it to. Right, yeah. But, uh, they, you know, so they're in kind of a defensive mode here. And here's Sean Aguigi with his incredible ball handling. Sends a cross pass. Uh, someone was a little late getting over there, but yeah. it was a good idea. Sean Aguigi. Christy Postalweight did over here on the touchline. It was a shot on goal. Actually, that was a cross pass. It was actually a very good pass. Just happened to look like he just happened to miss it. Yeah, that was Evan Sosa. I think he was in the goal in the first half. You know, it's that's just the way of the game. Right. And it's actually pretty mild compared to some other countries. There you go. And a goal. Number 17. Alex. Lewitt. He's a captain, a junior here at American Can or excuse me, Benicia High School. That was a nice shot by Alex. The only chance he had of getting that ball in was hard, and he kicked it hard. See, now Benicia, believe it or not, is right back in this game with 30 minutes left. Now, 29 to be exact. And some change. They all charge the goal. It's headed away. That ball just off the side of the net. That was almost in. How that fares with this game today. With a team that's only won six games this year. Um, Benicia? Yes. That's in their league, right? Overall. And they just scored a game. What was that? Looks like number 14 went in to, uh, I guess, to retrieve the ball. Well, yeah, after the goal. And, I, and I, I failed to see who scored that goal. I just saw it go in. But what, uh, what Benice is trying to do is get the ball up here and get it started. Right. Because now they're only down by one. And this is what I was talking about, playing on your heels. Benicia 
is on is is storming back now. They can taste it. Yeah. Wow, what a nice deal. Yep. It was clean. There's no doubt about it. Ball. Ball was blocked by American Canyon's keeper. And I tell you, what could have determined the outcome of this game was that missed call when the keeper came out of the penalty area with the ball. And there's your game. Wow. There's your match. Nothing, nothing less than exciting. That that was an exciting, yes, exciting soccer game right there. You know, and I'll tell you what, Benicia's got nothing to hang their head about here. They played some excellent soccer. They oh. came back, and uh, sure. yeah, and you know. I saw some great sportsmanship on both sides. That's one yes. of the things that I always look for. Yeah. Um, great ball handling. I saw some great passing and some great uh, shots on goal. Um, these two teams, uh, of course, this is the first time I've seen Benicia, so I, I can't say where they were at at the beginning of the season, but having talked to the coach, uh, they've come a long way too. And American Canyon, uh, they, uh, they they were chomping at the bit for this opportunity because they lost to Benicia last time. Yeah. And uh, I believe that score was three to nothing. And, uh, um, but like I said, Benicia, you know what I mean? The outcome could have been completely different. 